All right, well, here it is. Uh, winter field day 2025. And I am not going anywhere today. I'm not going to be out in any particular field except for this one. This is my backyard. I got a sick kid inside. She's on the mend, but she doesn't need to get out today. And I'm, I'm on my own today. So um, I'm, uh, I'm gonna set up here at the house. And uh, we've had a nice little warm snap all of a sudden. It's been pretty cold lately. I will turn this on a little bit for a little winter field day heat. 50 degrees isn't bad, but that doesn't hurt. So my plan today is uh, I'm gonna use all emergency backup power. We're not gonna use any, any mains power today whatsoever. I'm gonna be using the Shigo G90 ham in a can and uh, I've taken the batteries out of my solar shed. So I've got two uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. I've got, uh, I got my B-Link mini PC. I've got a little keyboard and a little tiny monitor. I'm not a PC guy. I'm not, I'm a Mac guy from way back. And the only reason I have PCs is so I can use WinLink. Today's the Tulsa, uh, uh, Aries uh, simulated emergency test, which coincides with winter field day. Uh, and we're uh, practicing on WinLink. So today I'm gonna be doing WinLink in the backyard on emergency backup power, QRP. We'll see how it goes. Here's my lithium ion and phosphate batteries, my Shigo G90, my keyboard, my monitor, and my inverter. And for today's adventure, I'll be using the Incom 3B antenna. It's 130 feet long, and I can get this thing to work on almost every band. And with the Shigu G90's built-in internal tuner, it'll tune up anything. This is a great one for today. I'm the kind of guy that likes to use whatever I have on hand. I have this little six inch monitor, which is uh, gonna be a little hard to see, and this little keyboard, it's Bluetooth. And I've got a little B-Link PC. These things are actually pretty great. And this is my Shigo G90 ham in a can with a digi rig. Here's my Legend of Zelda lithium iron phosphate battery pack I made. And here's its big brother, the 30 amp hour and an inverter I pulled out of a piece of photo equipment. It actually works pretty good for this. It powers the PC. Usually if I'm doing digital modes with the Shigo G90, I use FL rig, but WinLink doesn't have a FL rig cat command file, so I use the ICOM 7200 file, and it works fine. Now we got a change on the G90. Well, first of all, I'm gonna put that tuner on. And that tuner will tune up anything. Let's see, function, tune, pow. We're gonna make sure our input is online. And we're gonna have to keep switching back into, uh... okay, COM port error. Open device manager to figure out which COM port you need to use. And then you're gonna make sure that on the G90, it's set for line out. And you do that by pushing function, then pow, and then scroll over where it doesn't say mic anymore, it should say line out. And then you wanna make sure you always use upper digital mode. Inside a WinLink for Vera HF settings, select the ICOM 7200 USB digital, and then you're going to input your COM port. My COM port was mm, COM port number 10. And the baud rate. Baud rate is 19200. From there, go over to the Vera modem itself and make sure your sound card is set up to use, if you're using the digi rig, use the digi rig and then test the PTT. If the PTT activates, you're good to go. For day, today's simulated emergency test, we're simulating a wildfire and we're using WinLink's built-in forms to request supplies, give damage assessments, send radiograms, all the different things that you might need for an incident command. And the only way you're gonna learn about this is if you actually try it. And a great way to get involved is to find an Aries group around you and participate in a weekly Aries 
WinLink Net. You could even participate in our net by sending a WinLink check-in to 85ME. All right, I've now, uh, I've now created all the different forms that I needed to create. And uh, I'm gonna try and connect with the uh, RMS and get these things sent over. A lot of traffic right now, so we'll see what happens. The way WinLink works is you can either connect peer-to-peer -peer with the station you want to pass traffic to, or you can collect, connect to what's called a WinLink RMS. Uh, WinLink RMS acts as a relay, and it can either forward your messages to your destination station through RF over the radio or through an internet back end. And it's uh, pretty nifty the way you can find the RMSs. You just open up the channel selection, and it will tell you which RMS are your best choice based on solar conditions. It was nice to get the uh, Chaigu G90 up and working for digital modes out here in the yard and have it all running through battery power. I haven't used the Chaigu G90 for Windlink in quite a long time and I definitely needed a refresher on that. So that's why we do field day. That's why we do simulated emergency tests. That's why we do all these different things. So you can remember how to do it. So in case you need to do it, you can. All those messages are traveling over right now. There was a lot of them, including one with an image. So that takes some time. I'm just sitting here waiting for it to get done now. You can I really wish that VARC and WinLink, all the VAR modes, I really wish that they would open that up off of the PC. I really hate PCs, I hate Windows. It sucks that it's all locked into that ecosystem. It just means you have to use a PC to do this. And I'm not happy about that. I don't think that'll ever change. So that's why I don't invest a whole lot of money in these PCs because this is about all I use them for. Uh, there is a new iOS app called Radio Mail, which will let you use Packet, but it won't let you use Vara. So you're out of luck there. Hopefully somebody will come along with something better sometime. That's an open, open uh, source modem that works just as good as Vara C and uh, Vara HF and Vara FM. Hopefully somebody will do that. It'd be great if we had an alternative that worked as good and could be used on any platform. I mean, if it could be used on Raspberry Pi, that would be amazing. That would be a game changer. Somebody needs to make that happen. Somebody needs to make a Vara, Vara HF equivalent. That'll work cross-platform. That is my wish. Somebody out there, you know how to do it, just do it. And then we have to get everybody else to do it too, to accept it. So hopefully something like that'll come off. We'll see. All right, all right, all right. Well, that uh, concludes winter field day for now. And uh, I had a pretty good time today. Uh, it's a good twice a year challenge. And I prefer winter field day to summer field day because I like being cool and dry and not hot and sweaty. I love tinkering and setting things up on a whim and I love using what's available and uh, just kind of making it all work, you know. It can be tough uh, because the bands are packed on winter field day. So especially if you're doing uh, QRP wind link, it can be a little tough. You're gonna be uh, challenged to be able to get into maybe your best RMS because uh, there's gonna be a bunch of other people competing it for it. So you might be forced to use an RMS that's not your best RMS. Let's see, using battery backup is fun. It's liberating, no, no mains power, it's just you. It's even more fun if you're generating those, that power for those batteries off the sun. I, I really like that I can just do that now. And <laughs> you saw my solar shed, it's basically in the shade and those batteries stay topped off all the time. I mean, I, I drag them all the way down too. I've uh, done a lot of tests and you know, it's like that, that little area gets a lot of shade. That's all I'm gonna say, but it still works. As much as I love Vera HF, I do wish there was a Vera alternative that was multi-platform. I'm not so much concerned about open source because 
I appreciate what's gone into making that program. The the guy that created it, his call sign is EA5HBK. His name is Jose Alberto Nieto Ros from Spain. And I mean, he must be some kind of a genius because it works very, very well. And he did a great job setting up that program. He deserves every penny that people are willing to give him for uh, for the license to use full speed Vera. And I did, I, I, I approve. <laughs> I just wish I could use it on my MacBook or a Raspberry Pi. Having Vera HF on a Raspberry Pi or any of the Vera modes on a Raspberry Pi would open up a whole new world. That's gotta happen. Like, that's, a, that's the deal killer for me with Vera. It's locked into Windows, which I just, I've already said it, I hate Windows. <laughs> But with that said, maybe I should invest in a tiny PC, um, a tiny PC laptop that is. Screen, keyboard, everything, surely it would be better than my little screen, my little keyboard. <laughs> having it all in one with a battery, not having to bring out that inverter, I think that would be uh, something I should do. Um, I mean, I know they make some pretty tiny ones. You guys got any recommendations for a tiny PC laptop? Anyways, use what you have. Improvise, don't overthink it. That's one thing I don't have a problem with. And uh, just get on the air and have fun with it. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is WY6Y, Steven in Oklahoma, 73.